Good morning, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Today we're going to show you a beautiful 1977 Lincoln Continental Town Coupe. 38,000 original miles, original motor, original transmission, and just look at this beautiful black paint. If you guys want to find out more information on this ride, click on the link below. It's going to give you full details, financing options, and shipping options. Let's get into it. I'm going to start off with the overall condition. I'd rate this a 7 out of 10. It shows extremely well. This is a huge car that is painted black, so you are going to have some minor imperfections. Overall, extremely clean, extremely straight. It is a two-owner car, and it, it came out of Michigan, ended up in Florida, and then we purchased it from the individual in Florida because he ran out of garage space. Chrome is extremely nice. The vinyl top is very nice. When you look down the driver's side, you don't see any dimples. has white wall tires on it from 2017, and they show very well. All of your lights operate, so those front deck lids actually open up. Your front grille is very nice, and it does have the original motor. As I come down the driver's side, you're going to see the Town Coupe logo here. All of your power windows work. And listen to the sound of this steel. Amazing. Bright work throughout is extremely clean. When you look inside, the interior is very, very nice. Your door cards are in excellent condition, and you actually have a set of pillows with the seats. Steering wheel has been rewrapped and then it does have an aftermarket stereo so you have the ability to use Bluetooth with that Alpine head unit that was modified into the original uh, location there. You have a subwoofer that's hidden in the rear and then new speakers throughout. It sounds amazing. It does have Fitec fuel injection so that's another neat modification for this. So instead of a carburetor you have fuel injection so you just turn the key and you go. Just opening the hood for when we get over there. Rear glass is very nice. Nice and solid right here. I see a little bit of an imperfection underneath the vinyl top. Rear deck lid is very clean. Antenna is missing, just so you know. You have your gas fill here. And then I'm looking at the rear section, the bumper filler right here is starting to show its age. It is the original filler. It was st sold at Star, Lincoln, Mercury, and Southfield. And if you're here in that airplane, we are five minutes from the Fort Laurel Airport. So if you want to fly in to drive it home, you can. Open the trunk. Trunk is extremely clean. I actually, so one thing I noticed is the power, the high pressure power steering line is leaking. So I ordered a brand new one that's gonna be installed before it leaves. The first one I ordered was the wrong one. So new one comes in today. The carpet is extremely clean. You do have some of the additional items here and then all the booklets are gonna be in our gallery. So if you click on the link below, you're gonna see all the books and all the documentation we have. Behind here, you're gonna have your spare tire. Your little subwoofer is hidden under here and then you have your deck lid speakers up top too. Very clean inside, you've got your jack and your, uh, your tire iron back there. You still have all of your stampings and then this was treated for rust so it has the, uh, I don't know what company it was, but you, you see whenever you see plugs like this in the door and the trunk lid, that just signifies that they sprayed a coating inside there so rust wouldn't happen. There's no rust throughout this area. It's nice and solid. Tail lights are in great shape. Opening up the passenger side door, you can see how beautiful the interior is. Your door card's very nice. You've got your rust preventative right here. And then when you look inside there, you're gonna see how clean the dash is. Headliner's very nice. The rear seats are very inviting and comfortable. Door closes nicely. And let's get to the fun stuff. So it's powered by a 460 big block. Still has the stampings on the motor because it has 38,000 original miles. AC compressor has been replaced. You do have the wiring for your stereo and for your fuel injection. So the fuel injection looks like a factory style car, but it actually has a computer. You have your hydro boost set up, which runs to your power steering and for your brakes. Uh, that's how it runs the, the brake system. You have cruise control, which operates. So you have your module here for your ignition. Everything is stamped properly. Uh, Bosch wires, look how clean it is. And then this is a line we're gonna replace, so this is starting to swell up and leak. Insulation's very nice. And then you have that coating throughout for rust prevention. 
Let me start it up. So this has an open rear end with a 250 gear ratio, so it's great for the highway. AC is ice cold in this one. Starts up like that every time, super smooth. All of your windows operate as they should. And what's cool, you have a smoker's window. So if you come over here, it lowers one window and then you click it again and your other window goes down. Other side works as it should as well. And we'll show you that when you get inside. Very healthy, no smoke, no hesitation. Very nice, let's jump in it. We're inside the cabin of this beautiful 77 Lincoln. You can see how nice the dash is. Your Cartier clock or Cartier clock is working. The dial's still working. You have your aftermarket radio here and someone made a custom pod for this. It sounds amazing. Beautiful. Headliner's nice, your, mirror, your rear view mirror is extremely clean. And then you have all these functions here. So you can move your, your passenger side mirror. Then you have uh, your alternator, which is charging, your fuel gauge, which is half, and then the temperature is slowly rising. AC is blowing cold right now. The door panels are extremely nice and they match the, the, the pillows that you're sitting underneath. And I mean, this is, you could go for a long road trip in this. You still have your factory radio here, but they just left it probably just for aesthetics. If you're fast and seatbelt light and your antenna, which the antenna, unfortunately, uh, must have been damaged during transport at some point. You have your mirrors and then you do have a, uh, your headset or your microphone for your Bluetooth. This is awesome. You do have a tilt column. So if you're a larger individual, you can move your steering wheel up. So you got the gabagoo belly. <laughs> so we're gonna take it for a spin today. Gabagoo. Whoa, brakes are awesome. Wow. Horn works. Glove box is really nice, and that's where the Phytech is. So you see that little controller there? That's gonna give you all your parameters. You have some touch-up paint, and then a uh, phone mount as well, which I will include. So when you're taking those important phone calls from your leaders while driving this spaceship. The motor is extremely peppy, it feels good. Oh, the suspension's been upfitted. So it has QA1 adjustables in the rear, and it gives you a really nice ride. Um, I believe that the prior individual, based on what I read, uh, he liked to use this for road trips and it definitely would do that. What we'll do is we'll jump on the highway, get off on Griffin and then go to our uh, little road so we can get some outside shots. Oh, feel that? And look at the speedometer. It's a ribbon style. And we are at 50 miles an hour. Oh yeah, it just it's a, a ribbon that spins. I remember the first time I was in one of these cars. It was a uh, it was a Buick, and when we when I drove it, I thought there was like actually fluid going in. We're headed onto the highway right now, so we can show you it at speed. Thirty eight thousand five hundred ninety four miles. Not a single sound in this cabin. Rear seats are really nice. You do have an armrest that is added on this unit because it doesn't have a center section. And then the rear has an armrest. So if you're sitting back there, you're gonna be real comfortable. Steering is very easy. It's a 20 foot car. <laughs> you're just driving a boat. <laughs> it's neat. Just wanna show you guys how nice it rides on the highway. And then we're gonna get you guys some beautiful artistic shots and let you decide if this is what you wanna put in your garage or carport because this thing might not fit in your garage but very smooth no dead spots no hesitation uh, temperature is nice as well brakes work properly this is a good driver if you want to look good and classy going to your next meeting buy this thing and drive it there show them you mean business and if they don't like your pitch you throw them in the trunk I'm just kidding let's see if the cruise control works on set Oh, cruise control does, does work. work. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys like this type of content, please be sure to you you could you do you you want like and subscribe. <laughs> please. <laughs> please, please. If you guys uh, are interested in this vehicle, you can give us a call at 954-363-2261 or email us at sales at bulletmotorsport.com. They'll have it all flashing down here right now with like flames next to it. My editor is gonna be upset. <laughs>
I need two bald eagles on the top of my screen now. <laughs> and an American flag. Of it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.